I'm here with Linda at the car workshop. She's preparing the Tesla Model 3 for our Tesla Con visual supercharger road trip, as you see over here. And today we want to talk about solar fields. In Singapore, Land Transport Authority requires the front three window panels to have at least 70% visible light pass through. However, something that I did not know until recently is that the base windows that are installed by the manufacturer already has some degree of tint. So we're going to measure it with this device that Linda has here. Can you tell us how this works? Okay, so there are three figures here. The first one measures the amount of visible light that passes through, VLT. The second one is the amount of UV that passes through, UV. And the last one is infrared rejection, the amount of infrared that is rejected, which is the amount of heat that you feel. So let's test it out. Yeah? Let's do that. Okay, so this is the base for the basic glass, 80 plus. And let's put the... Without the solar film, you can see that there's 87% visible light pass through. Yeah. And the IRR is 71. Yeah. That means you will feel more heat. This is 3M's 90% solar tint. Let's see how it does. So 90% multiplied by the earlier visible light pass through, we now get 77.2% visible light pass through. And what's significant is that the heat rejection is now significantly higher. You will feel less heat in your cabin. So this is the one that go for to stay above the LTA requirements. There's one more solar film here at 30%. Let's try and see how this works. 30%? Yes. Okay, so this is And so now with the 70%, when we multiply with the base tin, we get 64.6, which is below the LTA requirements of 70% visible light pass through. Next, always be mindful that when you pick a solar tin, just because you see the numbers 90 and 70%, that is not the end outcome. You have to test with the base tint on your glass, depending on your car manufacturer, whether it's a Tesla, a BYD, an MG. So my conclusion here is, don't underestimate a 90% tint. It can do more than what it looks like. Thank you, Linda, for sharing this outdoor. And also bring this device over here. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Let us know your experience with solar tin, what works and what doesn't for you. And click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla.